Welcome to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast series. Here we talk about all things franchising. What is it all about? Is it for you? How do you find the best one to own? And so much more. Now your host, Tim Parmeter. Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast. I am Tim Parmeter, founder and CEO of Fran Coach, and your podcast host. Uh, today, we are going to kind of do a, fo- a follow-up of a podcast we did a couple months ago that was really, it was all about what is the number one reason people become a franchise owner. Um, we're going to drill down into kind of, well, there's one broad reason, and then there are some kind of subcategories of this. So this is essentially almost a sequel. So we're going to talk about that here in a second. But first, as always, a quick reminder of who we are. Fran Coach is a national search firm dedicated to working with individuals interested in owning a franchise. We are partnered with well over 600 of the top franchisors in the country, spanning nearly 70 different industries. Our goal is to help clients find the absolute best franchise for them to own. And the goal of the Franchise 101 podcast is to simply help properly educate people on franchise ownership. So, What are we going to talk about today? So we did an episode uh, off the top of my head, I think it's 111. Um, That was what is the number one reason why people become a franchise owner? So if you have not listened to that one, what the heck is your problem? Go listen to it right now. Um, Don't do that. Finish this one, then go back. So the number one reason, if you haven't heard that and don't know that answer, what do you think it is? Shout it out. Okay. Uh, wrong, wrong, way wrong. It is not what most people think. It is in one word, the number one reason is control. Um, so control, what does that mean? So control over a lot of different factors. Yes, money is in there. But when we talk to folks and they're like um, listing off their whys behind taking a look at this, money is there. It's not at the top of the list. The thing that is almost always at the top of the list is some form of the word lifestyle, right? It is control over your lifestyle, control over your time, your freedom, your flexibility, your schedule, things that you do not have when you work for other people, right? Um, So think of it from a perspective of if you are, you're currently working, what's your commute like, right? there are still people that do have that true kind of remote setup uh, after uh, after our, 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 our wonderful pandemic a few years back. But a lot of people have gotten drawn back into the office, even if it's a part-time uh, two, three days a week. How do you like that commute? Is it good for you, right? Would you rather have the ability to not do that or be in control of when you do versus not? Um, that flexible schedule for maybe it's something with your kids, your family, maybe it's just something for fun. Um, the ability to get projects done when you want them to do, to work the hours you want to work. Um, all of those things, I'm going to get into how, how kind of that control over the lifestyle and your time can factor into the money as well. But I also want to just kind of like, kind of sh- like share some real examples, both of, of mine and some of the clients we work with is, but somebody here recently, not too long ago, was looking at a um, a franchise as a home service franchise, and their kids are they've got they've got younger kids. They're very active in all the different sports, um, and the concern. And again, uh, podcast just on the word concerns. When people say that, as we go through this as a refresher, um, I have a concern about X as I'm looking at a franchise, or a concern about X thinking of franchising in general, right? I am afraid of maybe I won't, I want control of my time, but maybe I won't have it. So we're looking at this home service franchise and the the concern was, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to miss my kids baseball game, right? Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's think through that a little bit. Um, If you have a job and your boss says, Hey, we need this done on Thursday and your kid at a baseball game might be a little difficult for some people to say no to the boss. Okay. But as a business owner, and now this was specific to a home service franchise, I'm like, if you have a baseball game on Thursday and on Monday, you are talking to a prospective client, right? They've called in, they said, Hey, we really want you guys do this. We really want that. Awesome. 
Um, let's set up a time for me to come out to your house to do an in-home consultation and really walk you through how we can help. Awesome. Um, and the person on the phone says, how about Thursday? Well, I got a baseball game on Thursday. The answer to that is no, right? Um, so I'm going to tell that person like, hey, actually, I, I can't do that Thursday. That's booked. But how about Wednesday? How about Friday? Right? Um, like in that scenario, do we really envision that prospective client is going to say, no, the hell with you. You can't be here a Thursday. I don't want to work with you. Well, if so, they've probably just now done you a favor because let me help you. That was not somebody you were going to want to work with or that was going to be any fun dealing with with some sort of, well, really any, anything, right? So you've got that flexibility, that freedom, that control in your life to be able to be in charge of that. Nobody else is dictating, hey, you got to miss, you got to miss Junior's baseball game because of that. Hey everyone, I wanted to take a quick break from our podcast to tell you about our amazing friends at Entrepreneur. If you're looking to become a franchisee or simply learn more about business ownership, and guys, let's be honest, you're listening to the Franchising 101 podcast, so we know you have some interest in this. And I really encourage you to go to entrepreneur.com to check out all of their great content and resources. Seriously, Entrepreneur has everything, all the way from a bookstore to the best podcasts, webinars, and videos, plus information on upcoming events and the latest articles that seriously, they cover all aspects of franchising and business ownership. If you're having trouble deciding which franchise is right for you, start with Entrepreneur's renowned Franchise 500 ranking, which highlights the best franchises of 2022. For 45 years and counting now, Entrepreneur has been and continues to be the most widely recognized and respected authority in the franchise market. Digital and print subscriptions are available so you never miss out on anything. So seriously, what are you waiting for? Go to entrepreneur.com right now and learn more. And I speak to our clients a lot about this because this is probably, not probably, this is the number one thing for me with Fran Coach and the things that really is, is, is my lifestyle of, I get to co-parent, right? So kid week, non-kid week, right? So kid week, um, taking him to school, picking him up, um, literally, you know, like it's, it's, it's May, right? So we've got um, school's ending, which I, I was going to say thankfully, but that's actually not necessarily a good thing because now I've got an almost 10-year-old I got to figure out what to do with every day, right? But we've got karate. We've got baseball practice. We have baseball games, right? Just in addition to school. So being able to be in a position to block my calendar around those things, because I am in control over that, to be able to focus on the, a big block, a block of time when he's at school to get calls done. Who, what clients do I need to speak with? Let's do that. Great. Um, but now I need to go pick him up or now I got to play chauffeur, right? And get him, we need to be here. We need to be here. Um, some of the non phone call things I can do outside of those hours, right? So again, your boss gives you a project you have to complete and you're like, I got some other stuff I'm going to do during the day. I'm going to work on that maybe on the weekend. I'm going to work on it on the evening. Cause I want to, I want to do these things during the day, right? You don't have that ability to do that as an owner. You do. So for me, being able to uh, like literally sit there while he's doing karate and have my laptop and maybe I'm catching up on some emails, maybe I'm doing some research for our clients on what franchises to connect them with. Maybe I'm doing some things for, for our friend coach team to help uh, kind of train and support, catching up on emails, planning the next amazing podcast, whatever that might be. I, 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 can, do, I can do that anywhere I am in control of that. Right. So that schedule, the flexibility, the freedom. Um, are you going to still work hard? Yes, of course you are. Right. Uh, do I still work hard? Yeah, typically. Right. But I am in control of when I do it, what I do when. Right. Um, to be able to do that. So now let's take that to the almighty dollar. Right. So with your job, go work your ass off. Right. You're already doing that. How much more money is that getting you at the end of the day? Maybe a little, maybe not. Does it make you less expendable? Let me help you. Probably not because at any given point in time, when they want to let you go, when they don't need you anymore, 
you're done. You are not in control. I don't care how great you were. I mean, if you suck, you're kind of in control of the fact they're going to get rid of you. But even if you're doing well, decisions made above you outside of the organization can have a negative impact on you, right? I'm guessing people listening, myself included, who have been in the corporate world, who have had a job disappear for no fault of your own, right? Mine was the one that led me here, right? To, to, to be able to say enough is enough. I want control of that. So and now as you work harder and you work smarter and you are in control, the success you're having is based on you, right? Back to that control. So if you want to take that lifestyle and now you're like, I would like to make more money to create a better lifestyle, to create a different lifestyle for myself, for my family, right? Um, to create generational wealth for my family. You cannot do that as an employee. As an owner, you can. So that control over your lifestyle and your time from a financial perspective goes two directions. Number one, and this part is counterintuitive. If you get to a point where you are working enough hours and you are making enough money, even if it's less than maybe multiple other or the majority of other franchise owners in your system as a franchise owner, if you've hit your goals, time you're spending, money you're making, just level it off right there, have the status quo, nobody's going to say boo to you. The franchise isn't going to come back and say, yeah, Tim, well, that was a good year. Well, actually, it wasn't that good of a year. It's kind of an average year. We really need 20% more next year or we're going to ax you. Again, not going to happen like it is in the corporate world. If I am comfortable right there, I am a happy franchisee. Yes, the franchisor might like me to do a little bit more, a little bit better. But if I am happy, they are happy. The franchisor's goal is happy franchisees, right? So again, most people don't want to think of that kind of floor, but you are in control of it. Um, the flip side is if you want more money. Right. I want more money to, again, create a better or different lifestyle to create generational wealth for my family. Now work harder, grow your business, grow that initial first unit, add to it. Do we want uh, additional territories, additional locations of the franchise? You are in control of the time you are spending with that, right? Still with the flexibility and freedom to pick up your kid, take a vacation, um, the other example I used just, we just did this the other day, my wife and I, um, last week, one day it was, we, we'd set the deadline at two 30 in the day we were, we were done to take us until three, but at three o'clock we checked out, uh, we didn't have anything else on the calendar booked, we had other stuff to do, um, cause there's always stuff to do when you're owning a business, but we loaded up the bikes, we drove to a trail, we hopped on there and we rode for probably a little longer than we should, <laughs> should have. Uh, but it was great. We we got outside. We got a little got, got a little sun. Got a little fresh air. Got the heck away from work um, and all the things we had to do to just relax and have fun together. Again, flexibility, freedom. We didn't have to ask off. We didn't have to get guilted into it. Um, did we did we, did we grab laptops later? Yeah, actually, probably not. Maybe it was the next day. Right then, uh, or, you know, over the weekend, we're catching back up on some things we have to do. But that mental health capacity of just take take a take a moment, take a breath. You have control over that. So now, as a franchise owner, you want more additional locations, additional units. You want to go crazy. We talk about this a lot. Scalability. Own multiple franchises. Build your empire if you want. Because again, if that's the lifestyle you want, is more great. And again, we we'll go back to the corporate world when you leave your job whether it is your choice or theirs, that's it. You've just left it and you've moved on. You didn't build any wealth. You didn't build any equity. When you're ready to sell and exit your business, you're going to sell it to the next person, right? So all of the money you've made along the way, awesome. Now you get to cash out and sell it to somebody else or pass it on to your kids. You can't, I don't care. I mean, short of your title, again, be an owner of that corporation, Vice presidents are legacy in that position to their kids. They're not selling it to the next person that comes in. You walk. So again, back to that, again, the control from a lifestyle standpoint. Do you want more time? Do you want more control of your time? Flexibility, freedom, schedule, family, fun, uh, 
just the, the, the kids travel, um, no, no travel, right? I don't want to commute anymore. You want the uh, ability to get the work done when you want to get it done. You want to have that, again, that control over the, the, the lifestyle of the success is on me. So when I get to a happy point for me, time and money, then I'm good. I can stay right there. But conversely, if I want to grow, um, I want more. I want much, much more. Again, that control over the time leading to the lifestyle is there for you. And again, you just can't get that anywhere else, right? So, um, I, and I, I do always want to kind of point out, right? Like, owning owning a business in any any short any any fashion, a franchise or not, it's like it's hard work, right? But again, you're already doing that. You're going to spend time on it. Uh, but again, you're in control of it. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. It is not for everybody. But you're here. You're listening to the Franchise A 101 podcast. You have some interest, some level of curiosity in what that is all about. And if any of this from a lifestyle perspective, I wish I had more control over these things. Um, if any of that resonates, if you found yourself nodding up and down with it, then that's what we're here for. We need to get on the phone. Well, let's let's chat. As always, you can find us, uh, francoach.net, uh, franchising101podcast.net. Reach out to us, send us a message. Um, again, there's never any fee for speaking with us and working with us. Uh, we are here to help, number one, help you learn enough to determine if this is a path for you. And if so, what ultimately is that best franchise for you? So you can have that control over your lifestyle, your time, freedom, and flexibility to live the life you want personally, as well as build what you want professionally. If it sounds good, let's chat. As always, thank you all so much for tuning in and checking out our podcast. We hope it has helped you, again, learn a little bit more about franchising um, and franchise ownership um, so we can talk to help you create your better tomorrow. Thanks for listening to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast, where our ultimate goal is to help educate you on all things franchising so you can create your better tomorrow.